someone gave me these flowers. Might as well not waste them. They're lovely. I don't have any place for them, so I thought I'd bring them here to Megan before they uh, dried up and died. Are you cold? You want my jacket? When I was a kid, I used to like cemeteries. They were, they were peaceful. And there was always lots of flowers and stuff. And silence. Mm, yeah. Silence is good sometimes. Then, what do kids know about death? Oh, boy, Mary, I think they know more than the rest of us. You know, they just haven't learned to swallow their grief. They just, they're hurting, they cry, somebody comes, they make it better. Depends on whose kid you are. Yeah. You know, life is weird. I mean, I have lupus. I hang out all night in bars. I belt down the booze. And there's Megan, and here I am. Uh, what's wrong with this picture? Come on, Reverend Andrew Carpenter. Aren't you supposed to be in with the big guy upstairs? Yeah, well... Unfortunately, I don't know God's timetable. Don't even know my own. Uh, hey, how you doing? You want the official line? I just got back from my weekly checkup gig, and the doc says, Marty, you've got to slow down your lifestyle. You've uh, got to take better care of yourself. And I said, gee, doc, and if I don't, And he just looks at me with one of those doctor looks. Just, just want you to get better, you know. Wish I'd been nicer to Megan. You see that cloud up there? Right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I want you to picture that Megan's sitting on that cloud waiting for the next bus to heaven, okay? Oh, you are a corny. Oh, yeah, I'm corny, but humor me, all right? Take a look. See her up there? Okay. Now, say what you want to say to her. Jerk. I'm sorry. You know why I came here? Hmm. I think I wanted to scare myself straight. No matter how hard it gets, I don't. I don't want to die. Okay. Then let's say that from now on you're going to take better care of yourself for a change, okay? <laughs> okay. Thanks for listening. It's my pleasure. <sighs> Jacket. Oh. You know, Marty, I really, uh... <clears throat> I like you better this way, you know? Open and honest, well, that suits you fine. Huh. Well, then how about having a drink with me? So you shouldn't be drinking. Okay, we'll have a look. Now, now where are you going? I'm leaving. Why? You, you want to talk to more clouds? No, Marty, I want you to take better care of yourself. I'm touched, but uh, old habits die hard, you know? I just, where is, where is the person I was talking to just five minutes ago? Right here. 
Oh, stop it. Just stop. Scared? No. I, yes, I am. I am scared. I am scared for you. You can always rescue me again. Yeah, and what if it's somebody else next time? What if it's someone who isn't as safe as I am? The right guy comes along, puts his arm around you, says exactly the right words, and all of a sudden, I'm trying to figure out what words to use in your memorial service. So what then? I hope you're kind. Well, I hope it doesn't have to happen. There you go. Hiding behind your collar again. Why am I hiding? Hide it. What? What's, what's that saying in the Bible about casting stones? Remember Rhodes? The other night? The feisty, dark-haired woman. You remember her, don't you, Andrew? The real pretty one. The one you left with. It didn't look to me like you were going to quote scriptures at her. I got your number. Loud and clear. I know what you are.